Hello everyone. Now let's continue with this assembly design commands. So before tutorial we have discussed about this product structure tools toolbar. So in this video we are going to see about this constraints toolbar. So in this constraints toolbar first option we are having here coincidence constraint. So what is meant by this coincidence constraint means we are able to add relation between axis to axis or plane to plane or face to face by using this coincidence constraint and by using this coincidence constraint we are able to change direction also let's say for example let me call one part here i'll take just one bottom plate then same one i need one more here or is any other part also we can take let me call here one more for example i'll call here guide pillar just i'll move this and i'll keep it somewhere here so before we have hidden this axis systems if you want to show that hidden axis system go for swamp visible space this is the place where all hidden elements will be available for us so just i'll click on hide or show i need to show this axis system and this axis system then again just we can turn off by using the same option like this now by using this coincidence constraint we are able to apply relation between for example just if i click on this constraint one pop up will be shown just i'll turn on here do not prompt in future again and again it won't show this i'll close it we are able to apply relation between axis to axis so for example this axis it should be exactly matching to this axis just we are able to apply relation like so in assembly design we will be having two type of updates so automatic update will be there manual update will be there what is meant by automatic update means if i apply any relation between two elements properly it will come to that proper position but here it has not come why because we are using here manual update what is the disadvantage when we are using automatic update means let's say for example one big component is there a small screw is there if i make axis to axis suddenly that screw it will go inside and we will be again need to drag out to apply some further relations so only so just we'll use here manual update even though if you apply axis to axis relation it won't come to that proper contact somewhere it will be there only just it will come alignment to that axis to axis later we can apply this face to face relation like that so try to use manual update means after applying relation it won't get their original position until we need to update manually so this is the icon for update option or else you can use control like shortcut key as control plus u just if i click on this update as you can see properly it will align to the taxes so that is about this coincidence constraint axis to axis again i'll click on coincidence constraint for example i need relation between this bottom face to this bottom face here we are able to change directions so this is very important so if it is same direction it will come in the same procedure let's say for example this is one part and this is one part so we are selecting for this part as this face and we are selecting this part as this face now this face to this face if we apply same direction same properly it will align to this it means this face and this face will be facing on only one direction so if you make this face to this face in opposite direction it will come like this so these two of faces will be opposite to each other so same we can you see here if i keep it here same direction properly that alignment will come let's say okay and if i make update this face also will be facing downwards only and this face also will be facing downwards only now just i need to modify that i'll double click on that i'll go for more instead of making here same if i keep is opposite then if i make update here as you can see that both selected faces it will come opposite to each other so like that we are able to change direction when using coincidence constraint so we can use axis to axis relation we can use plane to plane or face to face and we are able to change direction either we want same direction or opposite direction 
by using this coincidence constraint. Then next we are having here contact constraint. Contact constraint will be used when we are having relation between face to face or plane to plane or surface to surface. So just I'll go back. Let's say for example, just axis to axis I have given here. Now if I make here contact constraint between same faces what we have selected before I'll select here this face and this face and if I make update here automatically it will take here in opposite direction. It means if you go with coincidence we are able to change direction either same we want or opposite we want. But if you are going with contact constraint automatically we will get relation between those two with opposite direction only. We are not able to give same direction. This one you need to remember. So that is about this contact for surface to surface also we can use. Then next we are having here offset constraint. Let me go back by using control plus Z. Now offset constraint is nothing but when we want to specify distance between one part to one more part there we can use this offset constraint. Now for suppose I need to give some distance between this face to this face there we can use this offset constraint. Just I click on offset constraint. I need relation between this bottom face to this top face. Same here also the distance should be in same direction or opposite direction. So I need upside only we will keep it here opposite. Let's say for example I need some distance of 50 and if I make here update as you can see properly 50 dimension will be placed. It will be provided at that 50 given dimension. Again if you want to modify that just we can double click and we can modify how much we want and update it. Like that we can use this offset constraint. We are able to give distance between one part to another part. Then next we are having here angle constraint. So angle constraint in the name itself is there. We are able to give angle between one face to one face or one plane to another plane or else we are able to give relation as parallelism or perpendicular relation by using this angle constraint. So for that just I will click on this angle constraint. Now I need to give relation between this plane to this face. We are able to give angle here or else we are able to give parallelism or perpendicularity. For example I need some 30 degrees. If I make update that will be tilted with 30 degrees inclination like this. So this plane to this face it is inclined with 30 degrees. Like that according to our requirement we can use this different type of constraints. Then next option we are having here fixed component. So whenever we are going to create an assembly design always one part should be fixed. So to fix that part we use the here this fixed component option. Now if I want to fix this bottom plate just I will click on here fix component and I need to fix this it will get fixed. Again to check that I will explain like how to check degrees of freedom that all while explaining one assembly design I will show you. Then next we are having here fix together. Fix is nothing but only one part we are able to fix. But if you go with fix together at a time we are able to fix two or three elements like that. So fix together just let me go back to remove this fix option. Now if I go here with fix component so fix together this one and this one both at a time it will get fixed. So in constraints you can see fix together both parts got fixed. But we, we should not use this why because while creating or while making assembly design only one part only should be fixed not uh, like two or more parts. Then quick constraint. What is mean by this quick constraint means let me delete all these things. We don't want any relations here. Now if you want to give this axis to axis definitely we should go for coincidence constraint. Why because if you want axis axis relation we need to go with coincidence only. We can't use either contact or offset or angle. So again if you want to relation between face to face or angle angle. So we need to go for individual options here. So instead of that 
directly if I go with the quick constraint and if I select the proper parameters like here axis and here axis automatically it will take coincidence constraint no need to select coincidence constraint manually whatever proper relation is there automatically it will get applied when we are using here quick constraint then next we are having here flexible or rigid sub assembly so this option will be used in like when we are having one main assembly under that sub assemblies there we use this option while explaining this top down assembly i'll explain this flexible or rigid sub assembly then next option we are having here change constraint what is mean by change constraint means let's say for example just i'll make here coincidence constraint between this space to this space i need here opposite direction it should get reversed just i'll update here now in the place of this coincidence i need to give here some offset so i need to change that so what we need to do we need to delete this again we need to go for offset and again we need to give so instead of that directly we can change that existing relation with a new relation just click on change constraint i need to change this coincidence constraint with which one i need here either with offset or angle or parallelism or perpendicular so i need offset i'll say okay now just we can double click here we are able to give the distance between that face to one more face like that we are able to change constraint by using this change constraint option then last in constraints toolbar we are having here reuse pattern very very important option what is mean by this reuse pattern means let's say for example this same guide pillar we need to assemble for all these four holes again we need to go for existing component again guide pillar again relations it takes more time to assemble the same part wherever we want in multiple times so in such condition by using this reuse pattern we are able to create multiple instances wherever we want but here one condition that for this bottom plate we are having here four multiple holes so in part design while creating bottom plate only one hole we have created original one and remaining we have created with pattern it means original hole is only one duplicate holes we are having here three if you want to use this reuse pattern first the component should be assembled to original hole only then only we can get all these duplicate profiles with constraints by mistake if you make assembly of this guide pillar to any duplicate hole we are not able to use this reuse pattern means we will be able to use but whatever constraints we have applied it won't get applied to that again separately we need to apply so for that just we need to check properly and we need to apply the relations now let me delete this no relations applied here so first part i will fix here now this original part should be assembled to original hole only but we don't know which is the original hole here so to check that here holes are there for bottom plate we will click on this plus again here also plus then we will open here part body then before pattern this is the hole so this is the original hole we created and all these three created with pattern now whatever the constraints we are going to apply for this guide pillar it should be applied with reference to this hole only now just by mistake directly we will enter into here again part design so if you want to come back to assembly design again just you can double click on product just double click you will come back to assembly design now i need axis axis relation by using coincidence between this to this so this is the original hole i'll update then again coincidence i want for this bottom face to this bottom face on same direction it should show faces on same direction like this then if you want to fix one part exactly at one particular position minimum three constraints should be given so here axis to axis be given downside face to face given but still here moment will be there in rotation how we can check whether motion is there or not means for that 
under this specification tree we need to check degrees of freedom for this guide pillar mouse right click on that go here with guide pillar you will get one option called component degrees of freedom just i'll click on this component degrees of freedom here we are able to see one rotation is there with reference to z axis so we are able to see here rotation symbol it means this guide pillar is able to rotate like this to lock that rotation we will go for angle constraint we are having rotation with reference to z axis so we need to select the plane which is having relation with z axis either we can select here xz plane or yz plane for example i'll take here xz plane for this one we will be having parallel to this right we can select either plane or face we need to lock that rotation that is our aim so just i click this we'll make it parallelism let's say okay and update now again on guide pillar if i go here with component degrees of freedom it should show there is no degree of freedom for that part then that part got fixed properly no motion left for that particular part in this assembly design now all constraints we have applied same guide pillar we need to create for all these three holes so instead of calling again one more and applying relations directly we will go here with reuse pattern then here we will get two options pattern definition generated constraint pattern definition is nothing but we will be able to get all these duplicate features but whatever the constraints we have applied here for this part that constraints won't get copied but we need with constraints so here always we need to use generated constraints then for this part where we want exactly for this holes we want and let's say just i'll go back again i'll repeat the option by using this original we need to assemble for all these duplicate holes so in such condition already we have assembled this part to original hole so directly by clicking on this reuse pattern we need to use generated constraints then only duplicate features will be created along with constraints so generated constraints we need to create for this guide pillar exactly for this duplicate holes just click on that holes and let's say okay if you are not able to find this duplicate features then you didn't assemble that part to the original hole when you assemble to only original hole then only we can use this reuse pattern so i hope you have understood about this constraints toolbar so if you really like this explanation please like the video or anything i want to improve from my side please let me know in comment box and to whom it will be useful please share to them thanks for watching Keep